Hi everyone. I've got one of the new Batman Class 37s here, which somebody has sent me to see if I can improve the sound. This is one of the factory fitted sound models, which has got a Zimmer decoder and two speakers. Uh, the problem is it rattles quite a lot at the moment. I'll put a video clip in now so that you can hear it as it came. I think a lot of the problem is just general rattles. So I've already had a look and I found that one of the um, circuit boards at the end were quite loose. So I've, I've tightened the screw upon that. Um, and the, the fan is fairly loose. Can you hear that rattle? So I think that's part of the problem as well. Um, this is one of the ones without a fan by the way. So it's just got the fan kind of loosely underneath. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to glue it solid. So obviously you lose the um, ability to have a, a fan rotating then. Um, but it's, it only uh, rotates if you blow it anyway or whatever. It's not actually powered on this one. If you've got one of the powered ones, I assume that you wouldn't have this problem because the fan would be fixed to the, uh, the motor. So it should be a lot more solid. But all I'm going to do is carefully remove it. Just got to get it out from under wires. And then I'm literally just going to put a bit of PVA glue onto the spindle. Oh, hang on, my, my glue's uh, dried up at the end. So yeah, I'm going to just put a little bit you're not going to see it once it's dried. Just put a little bit at each side. So it's just like that. I'll wipe it off the top. So literally once that dries it'll be invisible. It would be possible to peel it off if you ever needed to in the future. That's why I've not used super glue. Um, and the other reason not to use super glue is because if you're not careful it dries with a a white residue and I guess if you get it on anything else on your model on your hands anywhere that you're working um, it can cause other problems as well at least with PVA you're not going to have any problems so yeah I'll just uh, put these screws back in obviously it takes a little bit of time for the glue to dry so you probably won't get the full effect of the the rattle stopping until afterwards. But yeah, that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Second thing, I just want to turn my attention to the actual model on the speaker. So I'm actually going to take the main speaker out, which is underneath the circuit board. So I'm going to take these screws out. So, the reason why I'm taking it out will be fairly clear in a minute. Right, it comes out at this side because that's where the wires are. Um, be careful if you're doing this that you don't damage the LEDs that are for the lighting, for the um, engine room lighting. So there we go. gonna undo this plug so yeah what you've got is a basically a speaker in an enclosure which is 
very loose fitting and the cover you'd expect the enclosure to be underneath but in this case it's on the top but that works fine um, but it can still be improved so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue around the edge of the um, speaker and then I'll be able to stick the top onto it and it'll eliminate any sort of leakage of air and um, so oh, that's the wrong way around but it'll go that way and that should improve the sound so I'm gonna quickly stop the video whilst I do that and put it back together and then I'm gonna try it again and see if it sounds better if it does then I'll put it back together and it'll be finished otherwise I'll look at other options to see what else I can do Okay, so that's everything back together in terms of putting the speaker back in and the circuit board back on. So it's ready now to refit the body and see if the improvements I've made have made any difference. Um, one word of warning, when I was taking the body off, you have to unplug these uh, little plugs. Now, when I pulled them off, both sockets just came straight off the circuit board. So luckily I've managed to solder them back on. Um, but I mean I take things like this apart all the time and I've never had two where they've just come straight off. So it's obviously quite a weak point and something you need to be careful of if you're doing your own. Um, if you're careful you can just solder them straight back on and it shouldn't cause you any problems. But you don't want to be getting into a position where you have to buy new parts for it or anything. So I just thought that that were worth mentioning whilst I was here. So everything worked as it should and it definitely sounds better now. Uh, there's no rattle from the speaker anymore and it seems to have a bit more bass now that it's got a sealed enclosure. And the fan doesn't rattle anymore now, it doesn't just move about, so it does sound better. Um, much happier with it. I had to turn the volume down as well because it was just too loud. I don't know why it's set so loud, but with it being a Zimo decoder, it's CV266 and the default's 120. And I've turned it down to, I think I went for about 80. But yeah, hopefully people found it useful. And thank you for watching.